Welcome everyone to this video and today I'll show you how you can write and use YML templates to find vulnerability using Octo's test editor. So the vulnerability we are testing for is SSRF through port scanning. But first, what is SSRF? Server-side request forgery is a web security vulnerability that allows an attacker to make unauthorized requests from an application to internal or external resources. Now, if an endpoint is vulnerable to SSRF, it can be abused by an attacker to initiate port scanning on the internal system. This template is going to identify URLs within the API request payload and query parameters that contain the keyword HTTP, and then replaces them with the URLs from the provided word list. If sending a request to these modified URLs resulted in 200 response code, it indicates a potential vulnerability. We are going to dive more deep into it as we write this template, so don't worry. Let's see how we can use test editor to find those endpoints. Over here, you can see a basic template with list of operators. We are going to modify it. So the first operator that you can see is the ID, which is a descriptive identifier for a particular YML file. You can also see the details about each operator in the docs. Here I'm going to write both scanning. And in the info section, I'll provide some details like the name, both scanning with SSRF, a description, for example, this can lead to access control bypass, sensitive data leak, and even compromisation of the application. In the category, we can provide the short name, display name of the vulnerability, and the severity, and some tags like OS top 10 or Hacker1 top 10. You can provide some references. In the API selection filters, you can provide some different kinds of filter. Let's copy this request payload filter as well from the doc. Get rid of this extra info. Let's add another sub-operator, its name is contains either, which is going to filter HTTP methods. Here the request payload filter will identify the API calls where the request payload contains the term HTTP, as we can see in the contains either operator. And the query param filter identifies the API calls where the query parameters contain the term HTTP. It then extracts and records the associated key as URL key. Now let's provide the word list. This word list will contain the file paths that we want to test for. The execute section defines how a single API request should be altered before it is test for sending. So it basically modifies the query parameter and replaces it with the word list we provided one by one. And in the validation, if any of the regex matches the response payload, then it will pass the test. Okay, everything looks good. Now we can run this. Now select your API collection and run the test. It says the vulnerability is found and its severity is high. It contains all the description that you yourself provided in your custom template. And here in the query parameter, we can see the payload that we provided in the word list. One with the port 22. 
and in the response payload we can see it says connection to mongodb refused due to timeout to automate this for example if you want to run your custom test daily just go to the api inventory select your collection click on run test and from the ssrf category select your custom test then click on run daily at this time You can also check out these CVEs and HackerOne reports. Ready to enhance your API security? Get started by visiting our Octos GitHub page. Also, don't forget to check out the test libraries, where you can find pre-built API tests to run. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.